Hey fellow Steamians, welcome aboard. This is Steve, your captain. We are going to venture off into Larry land here for a minute. We're here with Larry Nelson. Uh, he's the artist, the picture you've been seeing, if you saw my intro. Um, Larry, what do you think of these <clears throat> now that they're all framed up? They look terrific. I, uh, the main thing is they the backing showcases the pieces to another level. Even and when you put frames on, full frames, they even do another job. But it makes such an incredible difference. It's like having a frame on a painting or, or an accompaniment to a performance. Right. But uh, these and these, uh, all of these colors are natural earth tones, the brown and dark, uh, that will complement the color that's already in the painting. And like this, the Maori we have with, from New Zealand is on a black background, which we rarely use. We've only right. done it once before. Right. Because it's so sharp, stark, uh, that it, but it punches it out and it works. And uh, But the, 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 the dark earth tones on the suede really do a job on them. I love it. So how long have you been doing the barnwood art? Oh, man. Uh, I guess probably going on 18 years or so. 18 years? Maybe 15 to 18 years, yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, I, I experimented with it at the beginning. Right. And then I just decided to go for it because I could see faces in there and, and or animals or... Because the wood has a spirit inside it. The wood was... Uh, the toy, it was uh, It's organic. It had life. And it, I believe some a lot of people do that everything on Earth has a life of some sort, an energy. Mm -hmm. And the, the wood certainly has an energy. And when it's cut into slices for lumber and then weathers over a certain amount of time, it will go, it, it, you can see something in there. And I like to bring out the spirit in the wood, which we call, some people said I should call it, what was that? Barn again. Barn again. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this, I don't think we'll go there. <laughs> but, but the spirit of the wood works because it's, it, the wood becomes like my, uh, my partner. Right. In that sense, and you contribute that extra dimension to the to the overall image, and I and I really appreciate what you do because you you're a perfectionist. Oh, thanks, Larry. Uh, we do what we can. Hey, we wanted to show that one magazine that they just featured you in. Have you got that handy? Oh, I think you do. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah. We I can show you. Well, that's called Sunstone, which is a quarterly. And it's a, an intellectual scholarly magazine about, about history about Mormon and just like Susan King's did it. It's a, it was an honor to have that. The original piece is about that high and it's old, but it's uh, the people at Sunstone saw it and thought it would make a dramatic cover. And boy, are they right. And it does. Yeah. Yeah. Well, awesome. Mitch, let's go over and get uh, a shot of that. Watch your step. Watch your step. Okay. Well, yep. you can, yeah. Here, we go. <laughs> Here, let's move that. Yep. Let me get a shot of this. He's got that in the frame. Oh, yeah. oh wow. That's not the original, but it's closer to the original it's colors. Just, yeah. But there's glare on there, so yeah. it may reflect there. You may not get a good, uh, clean shot of that. Mitch, why don't you pan around a little bit? Just get, you get what's right here. Mm -hmm. and then there's these are, there these ones that are up here are, these are my high end pieces that go in the gallery that are this, you know, more exclusive mm -hmm. high-end gallery that are, and you look at the frame on that one, for example, is a frame of from Provo, and the, fr and the frame is a work of art all by itself. Right. Look at the detail in that leather. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Yeah. and he, and there's a danger of a frame saying too much. It might be too loud. Uh-huh. This is the microphone, so we're, we're trying oh. to stay close to the mic. What mic? <laughs> yeah, uh, we got Mitch P on the camera today, helping us out. Yeah, well, yes. That that's a fascinating piece of wood. Look at it closely to see everything. I'll tell you one thing: when I don't, I I use the what's exactly in the wood anyway. I re I rarely touch what's in the background. Right. I may extend one line a little, like the one below. I think I pushed that. This water reflection, but this and that. Look at the extraordinary knots in there and the cracks of where he's sitting on a, on a log. Right. 
the burials in it. Really awesome. Yeah. And there, are, and there are some pieces that you I do that are not old barn wood. Here's a uh -huh. piece of walnut. That's a piece of walnut from, from Spring City. This is the boardwalk. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go walking on the boardwalk. Yeah. Uh, but that, that's a good example of, of another type of a tree that, ha that brings out different colors and a different, uh, a different personality. And, and it's flat. It's more like painting on canvas. But on some of these others that are a very rough surface, it's it's tough to make detail on some of those surfaces. But I figured it out. I use acrylic paint and sometimes very tiny double a double a knot brush, so a small small style. Or I'll use a, a wider one to feather out the edges and to blend. And it's so it has each one is a different challenge. The shape is different. The configuration, the, the size, the the direction it goes is something I have to. I have, it, 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 it communicates with me, and I communicate back. And awesome. that's about it. Awesome. There's so, another uh, example of a. And some people will bring. Now that I'm, people know what I do. But they they see that, that most of the, the farmers and the livestock people around here will have an old shed or a fence uh, that they're going to tear down, and if it's falling to pieces, they'll burn it out on their farm. Right. Now, very many have taken, will start burning it, and somebody will say, they'll hold up a piece of wood and say, oh, I think I see an elk in there, but we better call Larry. And, they, <laughs> and I'll go, and then, so I'll, they'll tell, call me on my cell phone, and I'll maybe go out there, and, and I'll look at this big pile of burnt lumber, and I think, oh, no, <laughs> you, you've destroyed these masterpieces. <laughs> but at least they're getting it. And a lot of people bring pieces back and just leave it in the backyard, and uh, that's one of them. That somebody brought me, and this is spectacular. When you see the configuration of the round white poles that are really part of the wood, yeah, right? It's weathered. I mean, I, that's a rare piece of wood. That's a really you'll awesome never piece. really find another one like that. It's they're very unusual. Yeah. But I saw a face in there, and so I brought him out. Awesome. Did you get these down here, man? Oh. Don't forget. Do a quick no. scan around. Well, these, these here are the ones on a canvas are some that I did early. I, I put these out here partly because I got somebody coming over that was interested in my work, but I wanted to show this that is done on canvas, or, or actually it's on masonry. A lot of artists you don't use canvas, or they use a piece of board. Uh -huh. But that's the, that's the kind of work I did before I started doing the, the painting on the wood. And I did other, you know, series of poachers and funny animals and celebrities, Janis Joplin and Jimi Hendrix. But you saw those, didn't you? The, I don't know the Beatles, the, the posters of the Beatles that were out of L.A. And there's another one that I, just, that I, I felt, I found that it was, it's really pretty powerful. But I'm not, I won't go back to that. I'm, I'm very, I'm in my comfort zone. And that's where I want to be because I'm good at it and I'm comfortable and I and there's a lot of lumber out there waiting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Never ending. It doesn't stop. Yeah. Well, awesome. I think we probably how long is that, Mitch? Let's see. Um, nine minutes. About ten minutes. About nine, okay. Get a shot of that uh, one on. It's on a masonite. It's on a yeah. yeah. And it's done with acrylic. Acrylic. Yeah. That's a really nice piece. I'm going to show you the very first piece that I, the first piece of lumber that I saw. Did I show you that one? I that had a face in it? I don't know. I'll just put that in there, okay? Did you get that Indian one on the wall? No, I don't wow. think I did. That is really something else. Okay, let's introduce it now. Let's introduce it. Yeah. 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 Thanks for staying with us. Larry's looking for the first piece of wood that inspired him to start doing this. So we are going to hang tough here for just a few minutes. And Mitch, maybe you can just come and show some of the stuff that's in here. All right. Yeah, I'm sweating. A little nice stuff going on here. A whole stack of oh, all that little food or whatever. Uh, Do you ever 
put anything someplace you know exactly where it is, and then you go and say, that was there, it's been there for 10 years, now it's gone. And I'm, I'm probably moved it just within the last couple of days. Uh, but if it's a, it was a star, yeah. I'm sure I have that here. Yeah. Okay. Hey, this is a danger zone, baby. <laughs> I said, I keep forgetting that for one minute to the next year. James Garner there? I'm not sure. somebody like like Steve who's skilled and has a very good sense of of what I need and I think that and he does a very professional job thank you Larry see that was the commercial <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah promo yeah, that's yeah. It. all Great. right well I think guess that's about it we're gonna sign off for now okay thanks for coming aboard the STF steamship see you next time <laughs>